Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's check out these new Madam Glam Magnetics. I love magnetic polishes. So I'm excited to play with these. And they are kind of pale. So I think that I'm really going to like these and I know that clients are gonna like these. They also have a new magnet and it's a double ended. I really wish, I'm, I'm probably gonna order another one. I wanted two so that I could use them together. Um, and I don't know if this flat, being flat, is going to change it. Um, the end is round, so let's see. And I, I don't know if it's got magnet here, or if it's just on the ends. I think it's hollow seems hollow but it's um, a metal so it's really it's really pretty for one thing they have pink and gold so I am definitely going to order me a gold one so we're gonna go we're gonna check that out and see how this magnet does and I don't know uh, do a design I don't know I'm kind of wondering if they will do um, a, a black hole and black holes I definitely want a darker color or um, a, a solid color behind it so so first we have autumn breath and I've got so many magnets up here that I'm gonna try a couple of them out and we're gonna check out some different designs oh, the cat. but I don't know how opaque these are on, on a clear pop stick especially but that looks pretty opaque ooh that magnet look work, works really well now they have had several different magnetic polishes over the years but the dual chromes that were sparkly were my favorite I like that it looks like a double line that's cool keep my other magnets out of the way right now and here's two coats this is probably the only one I'm going to show you doing two coats on And you don't have to pull out the first coat just because it's not going to matter anyway. You're going to cover it up. And you don't have to be right on it. And I know some people like to put it under their finger when they, when they polish. And I really just don't like that look and don't think that it works. <laughs> personal opinion there okay that is very pretty and pretty opaque all right there is sleeping morning sleepy morning that's Sunday right Sunday mornings are always sleepy mornings this one is an icy blue and this is the second coat All right, this one is Cozy Weather. It's kind of a pink, mm, a little, mm, I don't know, a tad peachy, maybe. I really don't think that I've seen any colors like this from them before. The uh, Home Alone collection from Christmas ugh, two years ago, uh, they were a lighter, but not like this. This is more of a kind of almost a pastel. This is coat two. Ooh, 
Oh, and ignore my nails. They they are pretty. I have got comp compliments on these. This is a uh, bloodlust. It is a, a kind of a red multi-chrome powder uh, from Maniology, and it is like exclusive to the Halloween box, so you can't get it. I'm sure you can find something similar. It's a red, and I just put it on. I just put a clear coat on my nails because I needed to file it off and redo but I didn't want to so I just kind of buffed them and put a clear coat on and then uh, put the the powder over that and that's what's on my nails because I know somebody's gonna be asking all right here we have late September and it is just a pale purple very pretty and Madam Glam as always they are vegan, cruelty-free, 21-free, HEMA-free, and palm oil-free. They are actually the only gel that I can wear. Um, my nail beds lift with anything else. Uh, everything I've tried, even though those the ones that are HEMA-free, they still caused lifting in my on my nail beds. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But Madame Glam, I can wear but I do wear a lot of regular polish. All right, there's late September with two coats. It, I feel like on the on the screen here that I'm looking at, it looks a little pink, more pink, but it is definitely more of a purple. And next we have Crispy Leaves. It is just a light caramel color. Oh, I was going to show, wasn't going to show you both coats, but Cat is now on my sh shoulder. I, I was not going to say that word. I was going to say shoulder. Okay, get off me. Um, I mean, there's one coat. It's kind of sheer, but very pretty color. All right, there's crispy leaves with two coats. Yeah, I really wish I had two of these, but I'll get another one and see what we can do with two. I mean, I've got several round ones I guess I could use. All right, last we have um, Sweet Merlot. I don't know. I thought I would like this one the best. It's not quite red enough for me, but it is very pretty. Um, I was talking to Ginger, Gels and Gems Nails, the other day. She was doing a live with these. And, like, neither one of us has seen a true red, like a blood red magnetic. And I'm not sure why that is. Cut. Good. Okay. Sorry, I don't have to let the cat out of the room. <laughs> let the cat out of the bag. But that one's very pretty. It is an icy, red, almost red, burgundy color. All right, there are all the colors. They're very pretty. Um, but if you want to stick around, we're going to play with them a little bit. If not, that's okay. <laughs> um, use my code, Guileen325. No, sorry, Guileen30 and get 30% off. Uh, if you have a VIP, absolutely you get 50% off anyway. But if you don't, you can use Guileen30 and get 30% off. They're very pretty, very pretty. Those are shiny. Now let's go ahead and do them over some other opaque colors and see what we get. Uh, so I've picked for the green, Autumn Breath, I picked Green Guru. 
I think it's pretty similar. Um, uh, if you're sticking around, I'm going to have a little sneaky surprise for you. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this uh, or not, but I haven't gotten any information about what I received. So, um, my mantra, it does what I want. So there it is over that opaque color. I don't know that it's any different. Let me grab... got another round magnet yeah there's no mag magnetic pull on the center of this so it's just the ends and that's pretty cool so if you want to do kind of designs like this, I absolutely would recommend <clears throat> excuse me, using an opaque color behind it because that is going to pull it away. Yeah, absolutely. Don't need any more magnets because I've got I'm I'm like surrounded by them. Anyway, um, next we have I used Mahal Mahala Mahalo Mahalo, sorry for the base for sleepy morning. And let's see if we can do a black hole with this one. The cat has been up here messing around, walking around, getting stuff sticky. I kicked him out. Alright, uh, absolutely when you're going to do this kind of stuff, usually you're going you're to pull it all out. So it looks kind of velvety. I like you want your magnets to attract when you do this, uh, but have good control of it because they will smack together and you'll bust your magnets. I've busted so many magnets. So, so many. So we're just going to start out here and bring it together. And there you can see we got a double hole there. Should we leave it like that? Or you can bring it in closer. We're just gonna hold it there for just a couple of seconds and then take it away pretty quick. And then we have a double. Do, 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 do. Very pretty. Cure that. But you see what I mean with you when you're going to do any kind of design like this, you definitely need to put something opaque behind it. For cozy weather, I picked Executive Flame. And I probably should have picked this one. Um, I don't know. Let's go with it. Um, I mean, the other one I've got could have gone either way. The Merlot could work over this too. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do. Just play around until you find something that you like. Now you can do a swirl. And you just need to play around with magnets. There we go. That looks really cool. All right, for late September, I have Divine Self. Um, a really cool toned neutral purple. 
Uh, I got these from Daily Charm. They came with some little bitty ones and a couple of long ones. Um, I'm not sure. We're just going to do this and we're going to see what we get. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like an eye. All right, for crispy leaves, I have Brave Heart. Just a kind of a, a beige gray, grayish color. All right, I'm just over here not recording and playing with magnets. I don't know, this one I can't really get a definite design out of it, so I think that one is just going to be pretty. Alright, then we have for the Merlot, I grabbed Scream. Because I love this color. Love Scream. And let's just take a little flower one and put a flower on here. Cute. All right, there they are, matte. Oh, they're gorgeous. It's just like velvet. They're so pretty. I love the mat. Absolutely love them mat. I mean, if you don't like them mat, you could absolutely, if you painted it mat and then you didn't really like it, you could just put the top coat over it again, a uh, glossy top coat. All right, so, but here they are. The ones I did with uh, a cream base with a similar, similar color and then did a design and we shiny top coated those. They look pretty awesome. Okay, now for the sneak peek, if you're still here, uh, this just came. And, woo, so pretty. It is not the usual advent calendar, okay? So it's not 25 days. I feel like this will be a little more attainable to a lot of people because it is just 12 days and I have not opened any of it yet so I don't have any idea what's inside yet um, because they're not boxes, they're perforated thingies so uh, I haven't been able to get into it yet. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything or not. Thank you, Madam Glam, so much for sending these over for me to check out and try out. I love them. And let me know down below, are you going to pick any of these? Are you going to get them? Are you excited about them? I'm getting my hand in gel over here. All right. Bye. Out here playing. had to use a zip tie to get his little harness to fit. I um, mean, I've trained all my dogs to be boundary trained. Um, got like three and a half acres here um, and I've never had a dog that wasn't boundary trained without a, you know, a fence or a line, uh, but how do I do that with a cat? 
I really don't. I want him to be able to come outside because he loves it out here. But I also don't want to hang out with a leash. <laughs> Any suggestions? How do you boundary train a cat? Oh, he saw a leaf blow. I mean, I just do it like I do the dog, maybe? Boundary. Oh no, any suggestions would be great. 